Hello, my name is uh, Will Brady. I'm a notebook artist, fine artist. Uh, basically work in notebook form because it's easy to carry around. I bring it in my car, I bring it to the beach, I bring it after work, everywhere. I, uh, they're basically memories and uh, ideas that I have, a lot of words, spoke, uh, words. I, uh, I draw really hard with a pen and uh, you know it leaves an imprint of rubbing for the next page and I'll take a sideways crayon and make a rubbing and you'll see like two images or two pictures and one piece of paper. Um, I use a lot of Sharpie, uh, a lot of reoccurring um, logos that I work with. I was born in 1980. I was a child during the 1980s. Uh, a lot of themes from toys from that period and um, I work in notebooks and I cut them out when I get a stack this high I'll take an exacto knife and go through and just find little images that I like or little pieces of color that uh, work in little squares and then I paste them on a collage form here's two examples uh, this one's called 1980 this one's called Rita and um, all different kind uh, images. I have small candies, lemon, ice mint, cinnamon, uh, uh, New York City, um, Native American culture, uh, drills from work in construction, uh, a lot of bird references, different birds, uh, shoe bill, uh, picture of the United States with the places I've been, uh, Christmas trees, just an explosion of. Uh, Memories and I and I try to write it down right away as soon as I think of it, and uh, you know the concept of control, maybe a leash on a dog, a lighthouse versus a windmill, and uh, this was another one I did uh, on notebook notebook paper with uh, lines in it, and I just you know I bought a glue stick and pasted them all together. I I like. Uh, you know, the, the composition just comes out the way it comes out. I just try to be very aggressive with it and uh, with the cutting, cutting out the uh, different pictures. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I had one sale in 2006 because when I went to Rutgers when I was 18 at Mason Gross, I, I had like 300 pounds of notebooks and uh, had it in a gallery on 25th Street and some collector from Japan bought it. And I have no idea where it went or who that person was. It was kind of like a mystery. But, uh, yeah, my first mentor was uh, Rafael Ortiz, a Fluxus artist at Rutgers. And he got it. The students, he suggested that they keep a notebook. So I, I took off from there. That's all I did from uh, 98 to 03 down at Rutgers was these uh, notebooks. And recently I decided to, you know, get an X-Acto knife and cut them out and uh, thus the collage form and it's my style it's it's how it comes out I just you know the idea of practice I practice every day at it I just come up with new faces um, they're almost like stick figures but they represent a person and that's the main thing you know the concept of daily life dealing with different people in your life having a network of people uh, more color. Uh, these are a lot of spoken word. I'll just uh, poems, more poems. Uh, these are more uh, uh, Saddle River, New Jersey. I love Saddle River. That's one of the towns I live near that I admire. Um, uh, motorcycles, uh, different. Uh, these are more logos, faces, a lot of faces. Uh, ball fields, cars, months, dates, uh, prayer beads, uh, more bleed through. This is an example. You got the motorcycle, and the, this is a good uh, example of it. But I work on these every day, and uh, you know, mostly in the morning and in the evening. But I have to go out and work and get inspired, and then when I come home, the uh, the work usually is uh, pretty good. And, uh, you know, Bic, Bic pen and, uh, you know, art crayons. Uh, different, different images in my artwork. Um, I like color, so sometimes I'll just cut out a piece that's just pure color, like pieces of another picture, like you have orange, purple, and green uh, beads. It could represent, you know, prayer beads. Uh, 
uh, the idea of working, a hard day's work, a pickup truck with a ladder on it, um, different uh, universities that have influenced me, uh, Yale, Army, and Cornell, um, the idea of a shark being a, an aggression, uh, you know, the, the shark smells blood, um, you know, Whistler could be the, uh, the artist Whistler who painted his mother, or you know, the idea of something boiling and making a sound. Uh, another reoccurring uh, image that I work with is the lava lamp and the globe together. So you have something that's constantly moving.